teachers who are present here. Uh, today, I would like to talk about, uh, on the chapter on oxidation and reduction. As we can see, many cars and lorries and also motorcycles that are left uncapped nowadays are being rusting. But as soon as we know, we don't know why the motorcycles, the cars are rusting. So as we investigate, the, the body of the motorcycle, the car, are always rusting. They're, they're, this is one part of the corrosion. This corrosion occurs when, when there is a presence of water, air, and oil on the surface of the iron. This corrosion is also known as rusting. And the chemical reaction, the chemical equation of the rust rusting is iron with two positive ions plus with water will react uh, will still produce iron oxide and hydrogen gas. In your opinion, why this situation is happening? All the vehicle rusting because of the corrosion process of the metal. Here we have an experiment uh, at the beer, at glass, on glass A we put a nail in empty cup on glass B we put a nail in a cup that contains water and on, and on cup C we put a nail in a cup that contains boiling water and also oil Let me see what is the result of this experiment Okay, and this is the result that we gain. The nail in cup A and cup B will soon rust, but in cup C it doesn't rust. So we can conclude that rusting of metal occur when there is the presence of water, hydrogen, and also oxygen gas. Rusting is the corrosion of iron. For iron to rust, oxygen and water must be present. Rusting is a redox reaction whereby oxygen acts as the oxidizing reagent, iron acts as reducing agent. Rusting is the corrosion of iron, which is a metal, is oxidizing naturally to its ions, resulting in partial or completely destruction of metal. As we can see, the water droplet is on the uh, surface of iron. Here, this part is a lower concentrate, uh, concentrated oxygen, and this is the iron surface. The cathode is oxygen, we are reacting with two moles of hydrogen, plus with four electrons, we will soon, we'll soon produce four moles of hydroxide. And the anode is iron, which will soon react with, react with, with, with this rusting and will produce iron uh, releasing two electrons. The process of rusting. The surface of iron at the middle of water droplets serves as the anode. The iron atoms have lost electrons to form iron two ion ions. Oxidation occurs when the iron releases two electrons. The electron flow to the edge of the water droplet. Oxygen gains the electron and is reduced to hydroxide ions. Reduction occurs when oxygen plus water will soon gain four electrons and will produce four moles of hydroxide. The iron two ions produced combined with the hydroxide ion to form iron two hydroxide. The iron two hydroxide is then further oxidized by the oxygen to form hydrated iron to oxide. When iron is in contact with a more electropositive metal, rusting is prevented or inhibited. Conversely, when iron is in contact with a less electropositive metal, rusting occurs faster. And these are the sample uh, and this is the another experiment that we have done. Can you guess which nail will rust faster? The nail with zinc or only a nail or only a nail with copper? Nail with no nail with magnesium. 
Okay, here we can see the sample seed. This nail runs faster and nail A runs the slowest. When two metals are in contact with each other, the more electropositive metal will grow up first. When electron, when iron is in contact with a more electropositive metal, rusting of iron is prevented or inhibited. When iron is in contact with a less electropositive metal, rusting of iron is speeded up. Okay, these are the questions. Okay, diagram one shows an experiment on the rusting of an iron nail. The solution in the test tube turns blue in the shortest time if metal X is left. Is it true or false? Can someone guess? Anyone? Just guess one answer. True or false? Anyone? Anyone? I want a volunteer. Okay, go over there. Never mind, go. Go. Okay, let's see here. Okay, the question, the answer is true. Question 3. In which, in, okay, that's all the question. Okay, thank you for listening. Uh, I hope everyone has understood what I taught you and this